Hello, and welcome to this short video on Cummins air-cooled generator set installation. The objective of this video is to provide examples for site selection and preparation during the generator set installation. This video covers C13 through C20 N6H product models. Installation steps for the generator set are found in the installation manual and the Quick Start installation guide that can be found on QuickServe online. Note that this video is not a substitute for the information found in these documents. Refer to these documents before attempting to start a generator set installation for all required safety and compliance information and the complete procedures. All steps in this video should be done with the battery removed from the generator set and battery cables locked and tagged out. Electrical materials that are required include AC power wires or load cables, a 120 volt accessory circuit with 20 amp protection, DC control wires, electrical conduit, and ethernet cables if you are using the remote monitoring feature. Fuel system materials that are required include a flexible fuel line, pipe thread sealant, an installed fuel service pressure regulator, and a manual fuel shutoff valve, in addition to the appropriate piping in between the fuel system components. Always refer to the latest revision of the installation manual for the complete list of equipment and tools that are required. Location of the generator set is one of the first decisions to make during installation. Consider the generator set's proximity to the fuel supply, the transfer switch mounting location, and the utility electrical entrance. Locate the generator set on stable ground, not subject to flooding from rain, roof runoff, or sump pump discharge. Orient the generator set so that prevailing winds will carry exhaust gases away from the house. In addition, the generator set must be mounted far enough away from intake vents and windows to prevent exhaust from entering the structure. Generator set location is critical for safety and performance. Follow all guidelines and applicable codes and standards. These generator sets are only to be installed outdoors. All parts of the generator set enclosure must be at least 60 inches away from any openings in the structure that may be occupied, such as operable windows and doors. The clearances of the solid, non-vented sides of the generator set to fixed structures is also important to correct operation. One side must be at least 18 inches from the structure or any other objects. The opposite side must be at least 60 inches or 5 feet from the structure or any other objects. The intake side of the generator set must be at least 30 inches away from the structure or any other objects. Finally, the exhaust or outlet side of the generator set must be located at least 60 inches from the structure and at least 36 inches from any combustible materials. Cummins recommends the generator set be installed on a non-combustible mounting pad or a poured concrete slab with the ground prepared correctly to prevent sinking over time. Cummins also recommends the mounting be above grade for easier maintenance and reduced risk of water issues. Clear obstructions and check the clearances of the mounting pad. Ensure the ground is stable, level, and compacted to prevent settling. The poured concrete slab should be a minimum of three inches thick and at least two inches larger in length and width than the generator set base. When you are ready to place the generator set on the pad, locate the four lifting holes on the corners of the base. Affix lifting straps of adequate size and strength. Use a suitable lifting method to pick up the generator set by the lifting straps. Slowly and carefully lower the generator set onto its pad while guiding it to the orientation that was chosen based on required mounting clearances. Insert the mounting bolt spacers into the two mounting holes on the generator set base. The mounting holes are located behind the air intake enclosure panel 
and the exhaust outlet enclosure panel. Use concrete anchor bolts or screws to secure the generator set to a poured concrete slab. If the generator set is mounted on a composite mounting pad, line up the mounting holes of the generator set with the pre-threaded openings on the mounting pad and secure using hex head cap screws. The next step will be installing and connecting the fuel supply. If you have any questions or are unsure about any of the installation steps, call 1-800-Cummins for factory assistance.